My name is Annette and I made the Wave of Memory um, with Barbie dolls for the Sculptures by the Sea, Cottesloe 2014. Hmm. I had to go to Belgium because my sister was very sick and um, being there with her, I haven't seen her for 12 years, memories of childhood came back um, at me. I felt quite overwhelmed because part of her illness had to do with um, childhood and my brother died during childhood too so a lot of emotions were really overwhelming me and I wanted to translate that into an artwork that was quite universal that people could understand and so yes it's where the wave of Barbies at first it was a wave of dolls and then fine-tuning the idea of over the next couple of years turned it into the Barbie dolls as a universal icon that most people know and understand it's the sense of being overwhelmed and I had in mind to exhibit it for the first time um, during the sculptures by the sea so the wave was very much a part of the environment so for me that fitted really well in the sense of overwhelming and the form which related to the beach. I first made a model, a one meter model and from that model I learned how to tie it what to use in terms of material and cable tie was the best way to use because you can't really drill, they can't really glue, get glued because there's not enough surface to stick. So and then um, then, I had to then I had to decide on the actual size of the wave which I decided if it's going to be overwhelming you have to stand in the middle it needs to be then nothing can go past the periphery of the eye, so it had to be four meters wide. It had to go over the head, so about three meters. Yeah. Um, and then I calculated with those diameters that I needed about three to 5,000 Barbie dolls. Wow. So I started to collect. <laughs> um, I put notices out on Gumtree. I went to swap marts, op shops. Um, some of the op shops have been absolutely fantastic helping me to collect the amount that I needed. Yeah, I decided to use second hand because the Barbies come with the memories of the children that have played with them. Some have writing on them. One of the dolls has Jessica written on the forehead and on the heart area it says, please love me. Those things are totally invaluable and some have knife marks, dogs have bitten it. It's all, it's such a collection of history of Barbies and the kids that played with them and the environment. It's been very interesting. This is the first but definitely not the last. Yes, it's, um, it's exciting. It's nice to have the exposure with people and for people. So, yep, it, it's been really exciting, really exciting and very rewarding. My next project is also with dolls, but it won't be in this. The message will be different. I will use them in a different way. The Barbies are used to convey messages. That's the reason, why, the reason, there's a reason why I chose blonde Barbies. It's about genetic modification. It's about what we are told, what ideal beauty is, what makes someone more beautiful than someone else. For me, everyone is equally the same, but when we look at advertising, we very much get spooned in what we should look like, and this is really a comment on that too. It's about mass consumption. It's about many different, there's many different layers in there.